Screwworm flies have a major weakness. Female cochlear mire can lay up to 400 eggs multiple times. But they only mate a single time before they die at the ripe old age of three weeks. So what if we could somehow disrupt the mating process? What if we could flood the environment with sterile male flies? The females would waste their one and only chance at reproduction on males that couldn't produce offspring. An entire species could theoretically mate itself out of existence. But how do you sterilize millions of flies without killing them or making them too weak to compete for mates? Well, it turned out the timing to do this was kind of perfect. Scientists studying the effects of radiation had discovered that specific doses could damage reproductive cells while leaving the rest of an organism intact. So all we needed to do was figure out how high this dose was for cochlear mire, breed millions of flies, irradiate them, and release them over thousands of square kilometers. Imagine explaining this idea to someone in 1950. Imagine the scale of the damage and the suffering that cochlear mire caused for people to say, OK, sure, let's try this, why not? To prove this could work, scientists built a screwworm paradise in Florida and shipped millions of flies to the remote island of Curaçao. Long trays were filled with ground beef and horse meat, animal blood, milk and eggs. Thousands were bred, irradiated and released into the wild in regular intervals. As the weeks and months passed, more and more of the cochlear mire on the island were infertile and mated with regular ones. First slowly, and then suddenly, they were no more. Completely eradicated.